G'day guys. So this video is a little bit different. I've got five thermals. They're all entry level sort of consumer stuff. None of us are pro shooters or any of that business. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna line them all up, uh, get some footage out of them, share it with you guys, pass some positions on what we think of each one. So the five devices we've got to line up, they're all 384 by 288 17 micron sensor. So a little bit of common ground there, uh, and we've got a progression in lens sizes. So we've got 19mm, 25mm, 35mm, 42mm, and 45mm on those. So uh, it'll be good to see how they stack up in the footage. Uh, hopefully it helps some people. It's a bit of a common question that people ask with you know what's this one versus that one and we just were in a position with some of these things and we just thought you know what let's all get together and we'll put some footage together to share. Um, we have got a Nitec HD25 Lite uh, which is the 19mm thermal. We've got a Nitec XD35 same again it's got a 25mm lens. We've got a XI E3 Max which is the 35mm version all the same or similar product. Uh, they, they're all made by iRay under various brandings. Uh, then we've got a Pulsar Thermion XQ50 scope, uh, a little bit higher base mag, and we've got a PARD SA45 scope. On those five devices, the three scanners, um, I've got the footage for those out of a DVR, so plugged directly into the video port, so pretty clean footage on those. It's similar to what you see in the eyepiece. Uh, the Thermion's just the internal recording uh, and then downloaded via the app so you, you do lose a little bit of resolution on that and unfortunately with the PARD um, it does have a an analog video out port but we don't have a lead for that so we've just done the old uh, hold the phone up to the back of the screen so there's certainly less um, resolution on those clips but we do pass some thoughts on what we think and uh, hopefully it helps. They're all our thermals these aren't things that we're, um, we, we're paid to give reviews or anything like that uh, it's, it's a, just a, a gauge across the whole range and we're just doing this to hopefully help some people out. G'day guys so I'm just out in the paddock tonight with two friends uh, we won't name them we'll just call them Eric and Adam um, just for technicalities. What we've done with the thermal footage is we've just taken a 10 second clip on each one um, at 50 metres, 100 metres and 200 metres. Thoughts on the night tech? I'll ask these boys to step in as well if they want or stay on the side. What do you reckon for this? It's, um, it's certainly not the same as the, the, the better units. It, but it, it's, there's a clear difference between that and the other handheld scanners that we've looked at. Yeah. But I mean for the entry level price, it is. They're not a bad price. It's, yeah. you know, if you're looking at small animals out to 100, yeah, and then I think larger it, animals, two hundred. Yeah, two hundred. I think um, that'd be about its limits. Yeah, even at at fifty, it, it's probably it's good at detection. I've had um, I've had that in the paddock, in the scenario on my own shooting, and it's hard work finding and locating that in a wooded area yep, or yep. any other ob like obstacles to your to your picture. So whereas the higher um, resolution screens that we've got on some of the other gear that we've got here yep. spots things a lot sooner at the same dis like same yeah, distance. Yeah. Yep. So but it is an entry level scope. You've got an open but, field. But good entry level, I mean people are always asking what the difference is and I guess it's a bit unique that we've got stuff in all the lens progressions to stack up. So I think one of the biggest differences between the twenty five and the other two units is that the internal resolution screen really yeah. shows up the definition a lot yep. better. Yep. So that not to mention the objective lens, no focal adjustment. Yeah, so there's no focus on that. Yeah, that is a that is a big thing. It when, makes it quite, yeah, it's, it's a challenge. When your distance changes. Yeah, yeah, yep. So, progressionally, the next one would be the, the XD35. Um, I will say, the different brands on these, look, the reality is they're all made by iRay, uh, regardless of what the badge is. People say they've got different bits and pieces in them. I'm not arguing that, but they do come out of, um, the same factory and and you can tell on the bodies between the xi and the and the night tech yeah. they've almost like, they've, I, even, I they've got the same out. racing strikes on them so really? um yeah make what you will of that i thought this was pretty good the field of view on the xd35 i liked it's nice and wide good for scanning um, when you're looking for yeah good um, for scanning um 
Yeah. I don't know. There's probably not heaps to say about it. it it's a good mid-range scanner. That's, a that's... big step up from the 25. Yeah, uh, in, noticeable. In, in every way. Yep. Um, not quite where the IRA is, but um, for the for the value, it's, for, for the price of it, I think it's... Yep. Yeah. yeah. If you just looked through that and you hadn't looked through anything else, I think you'd be happy with the image that you got, I don't think. No. It's, I, it's... You wouldn't be disappointed, whereas I think... Not at all. Probably more so with that... HD25, there, there probably is an element of disappointment, disappointment. there with the, with the image. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the, full disclosure, the, the HD25 is mine, yeah. and the price difference between it and then this That's next one That's worth twice up, as much, or yeah. a bit more, isn't it? About, yeah. about twice as much. But the resolution and your clarity and your detection is also twice as good. Yeah. So yep. it's worth that value to take that extra step yep. and not, buy, not have to buy twice. Yeah. And that's probably the big message that you see people say a lot. Buy once, cry once. Yeah. Um, certainly okay. goes for thermals. Uh, so, next one, the XI 35 mil lens. It's probably another step again. Um, yep. Agreed. We just used all of them in white hot. We didn't complicate things with colours and stuff. Um, and there's probably a, a slight bit of definition in the tones. Mm. Um, at yeah. 50, probably at 100 and 200, it was just a shape. And you'll see the outline in the footage, but. It's um, it it's got a bit more zoom. The base, the, the base magnification is a little bit higher, so you'll get def de de definitely that. noticeably less pixelated than the other two. Yep. Um, slightly better than the thirty-five as far as pixelation, um, but yeah, you could definitely see a difference. Yeah, there's still a digital zoom in all of them, really, isn't it? I it mean, is. The yeah, it is. Using your lens or yep. or using a digital zoom, but as Eric says, the digital zoom on them, <laughs> the, the, it's almost pointless. Using a digital zoom on the 25, the HD light. Yep. Compared to these, at least these you can get in. You know, you two to you did two times zoom. It's still quite okay. You get out to those fours. That's when you're getting you're playing Minecraft. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you do. They just get blocky yeah. like Lego blocks. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Probably another thing worth noticing. We looked at not not on the footage we've got, but looked at the cows over a kilometre away oh, across the, the paddock. Yeah. Yep. The 35 and the IRA both detect them quite easily. Yep. Whereas the 25 struggled to pick those at that up. That long range. You wouldn't even know which, they're there in the 25. Which yeah. it sounds stupid to say, oh, they're cows at a K, but that's probably relatable to a fox at 400. Yeah. Because it's small. So it's your power to weight ratio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, well, it, well, it is. Yeah. So I guess the next step, um, the Thermion. Um, straight away, it's a scope, so the image, you know, people will get butt hurt and say that I'm comparing scanners to um, to scopes, and so be it. It's just interesting in that progression, but the image through that is pretty good. It's got a lot more base magnification. Very um, detailed. A lot more detail in that. So the one thing we noticed was even at 200, you can see the the body temperature definition in the person. Like you can see. The layers in my Belt clothing. Line. You could see the layers. You could literally see the, the pockets. Um, at 50, it was you could see Eric's... Um, sinus cavity. Sinus cavity, yeah. yeah. It was, With the cold air going in, in, in yep. the breaths. Like, it was, yep. that was wild. Very, very detailed. So, um, but the image, it's a little, it seems to get a little bit of striping on it. Doesn't it? It's a bit easier. You yeah. seem to have to recalibrate the sensor. This is more. your shutter. This is yeah, what you're yeah. talking about with the open closed shutter. Yep. And very yep. much a yellowish scale colour. Yeah. Yeah. Smoking... Compared to the others, yeah. when you're going between all of them, it's the, the the white hot's got a real yellow hue to it, doesn't yeah. it? And you don't notice yeah. it just using it. It's my scope, but um, when you go from one to the other, yeah, it's it's yeah, all, it's all, really noticeable. All the scanners and the part all had a very clear, crisp. Yep. White color, color palette. Yep. Yeah, but it's yeah, it, and it's that white. The difference in the hue and the white balance. Mm. Yeah. For for those photography minded yeah, people yeah. with cameras and flashes, yep. it's yep. that white balance which it's noticeable. But it, it's not going to affect you. No, no. In one paddock and one night. No, no. So and again, we did look at the um at the cows way up the paddock with the thermion and the hard. Um, look, I think the pard might have had a little bit more. Mm. I think definition that, on the shape. It's got a little bit more native zoom, so it's 3.9 versus 3.5. Yeah. Base mag. The further the, mag, yeah. the further the distance we went, I think the more the pad had the edge. Yeah. Um, yeah, a bit more, out, a bit more grunt. Mm, I out, think. out to three or four hundred, they were they were similar with the thermion, probably having yep. the edge on detail. More detail, and that's mm. so we'll leave into the the pad. Um, I think on that detail, I think it was very comparable to the thermion. I think the image. 
Yeah. Um, or, well, not hairs. so much the image, the, the detection. Yep. Splitting image, the, the size of the person in the viewfinder, everything. It was all very similar. Um, one thing we did notice, though, is special. We noticed it further out, but when we came into 50, the image on that is just one hot person. So the, the white hot, it was just an outline of every. There's no change in colour no. definition on the object that you're yep. looking at with the contours, which, it, it, I mean, it's not going to make a lot of difference between a, a fox and, no, and a nothing. goat. No. But it's, no. it's just one of those noticeable differences that you don't see that 3D style texture. Yeah, what would you call layers. it? A bit, more, a bit more depth in the image with the Thermion compared to a, an outline with yeah. the part. I guess Doesn't, that's, wouldn't that's probably the simple way. Nothing, no. You, I mean, you, you're still going to see a fox just as clearly at 200 with both of them. Yeah. I don't think, you wouldn't be disappointed with either. I don't think so. I mean, the part's less money. I yeah. think it's going to be yeah. <laughs> oh, look, the camera. It's going to, it's going to be one of those subjective things that is personal will, preference and yeah, what you like and yeah. what you don't and like. And look, there's there's pros and cons to both, um, but I think image wise, I, I certainly um, I wouldn't be upset. I mean, the therm like I said, thermion's mine. I wouldn't be upset with a part either. I'd pick a rifle up with either of mine. Yeah, yeah. Be shooting it. Yeah, and, no doubt. And that comes back to that what I, what I always say with especially with my. XI scanner, it's not an image that I'd be comfortable to shoot with. Mm. It's too blocky. Whereas the two scopes we've got, the, the clarity's no there for ID and all that sort of stuff. Absolutely. So, the, um, you, I mean, I'll ask you the question. You, you're probably the one out of the three of us that's done the most research on the sensors and sizes of your microns and yeah, yeah. your, your non-Minecraft factor, etc. The Let's talk about differences in scale. From the HD25... Mm to then the 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 XI and the, the larger night tech, there's a notable difference and there's a notable price difference. Huge price difference. The yeah. difference in price between the top scanners that we've got compared to the scopes that we've got as far as yeah. price range and, and definition jump yep. isn't as notable from my opinion. That next step into the scope. So I think I think sharpness. it I think it uh, if you took the price out I can see the definite image difference, and and I guess so. You were the one that stood at one hundred and two hundred. Two hundred, yeah. We could see that. Like we went from the scanners at two hundred, and you went to the scope, and we both went, "Oh wow, that's heaps yeah. different." But there um, is a significant jump in price from our most expensive scanner to the cheapest scope. Oh, one hundred percent. Again, yeah, yeah. I mean, jump. you're comparing stuff in a a three grand price range to to five and six, so it, yeah. it's a big jump up. But yeah. um, So you would expect a notable increase in definition and, and yeah, ID, yeah. And, and you do get that. Yeah, right. Eh? we'll wrap that up. I do hope that helped someone. Like, give the video a thumbs up, share it around, do whatever you want with it. Uh, put a comment if you think we're wrong on something. Um, yeah, happy to discuss it. We're certainly not unfavorable in that regard. Um, and I'll see everyone next time. Front HD lens? Twenty-five. It is. HD. Did I just fuck that you up completely? Yeah. Did you yeah. Did you go straight for the fifty? Is yeah, so it HD fifty? Yeah. Um, XI thirty-five or XI? I'm gonna have to really fucking do that. I lost what it was. That was terrible, wasn't it? Is that on? No. That'll do. It's been one of the funnest things to do. Has it? It has. I've mm -hmm. thoroughly enjoyed it. Right. Except for the company. Except for the company. Right. We'll wrap that up. Um, so yeah, there you go guys. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks to Eric and Adam for um, bringing some devices and coming and helping. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see everyone next time.